Hi, it's Daniel again from WPSocial.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the WP Social FB Member Lock plugin. After you installed and activated pl the plugin you will see a new menu entry at the left hand side. Go to there and then click on the settings and you will be redirected to the plugin settings page. <coughs> On the page here, first before we can start using the plugin we will need to enter the Facebook application ID and Facebook application secret which we have created just before. So I'm going to double click and copy this to entries and copy them into the specific fields here. So make always sure that there is no empty space at the beginning and at the end of the entry. Then from the Facebook local IP, um, language sorry <laughs> you can go and um, choose your local langu language so that it does um, fit your site so if you have another language in English it, it will show all the messages in, in, the, in the chosen language. The re redirect or this means if a user connects with your site and doesn't grant the needed permissions to your Facebook application then he will be re redirected to that given URL here. So I'm going to enter google.com so <coughs> that you can see how it works when I show you the content locker. The birthday message on the birthday message you can enter a message here which will be automatically posted to the user's wall on his birthday. This is a great thing to show the users that you not only care on business with them but also on private happenings like the birthday. Then if some users have connected to your application to your site then they will show up here on that list. Right now of course we are setting up the plugin so there is no user. Then we have the auto posting feature on Facebook users wall. So this means as soon as the users connect with Facebook you can the plugin will post a message to his wall. To activate that just check the box here then you can add a link to the message I'm going to so I'm going to enter the oh sorry <coughs> I'm going to enter the URL of the site here then you can attach an image to that Posting, I'm going to select one. I'll post our logo. So I'm going to copy and enter the URL of the image into this field. And then the message, <coughs> um, the choose, you can enter anything you like. And if you want to use the real name and last name of the user, you just can copy the field the first name and last name from down here. So I'm going to copy first name just connect it to a great site. Then we have the content locker settings so this here is the message we, which the user will see when he didn't connect with your site yet. <coughs> you can enter one here, which is default message, or you also can enter a custom one each time you create a content locker. Then you can con you can lock any anything on your site, so post pages or any custom post types. If you want to lock all of your posts 
as example you would click here the checkbox this would lock all of your published content which you have published before and which you are going to publish in the future but I'm going to choose individual entries and since it's a new block and uh, there is no content I'm going to check the only content I have then click on done you can check as many as you like then just click on done then you have the content locker box color settings where, <coughs> where you can choose uh, color from the drop down menu I will go with Facebook blue and here on the roll to see the locked content you can select a roll which user needs to have to see the content without connecting to your site so if you as administrator want to test it yourself then you would choose Facebook users otherwise if editors and administrators could see the content without connecting to Facebook you could choose editor but for the testing I'm going to choose Facebook users the post status update on behalf of your users I will show you in another video because we don't need that for the settings and then we have the opt-in form settings which will allow you to add all connected users to your list you just need to check that to activate copy and paste your HTML code from your opt-in form no JavaScript please only HTML code put it in here and then click on save changes make sure that your email field is called email otherwise please <coughs> change it here but normally it should be named email then I'm going to save the changes and then right now we are ready to go into the content locker itself. I will show that in a other video.